Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So um, recently I got a fault code for my camshaft position sensor which was P0343 was the code. So uh, I've decided I'm going to change it out and uh, I did actually just do another scan today and it didn't come back that fault code for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why that is but I'm going to change it anyway because I bought the part and I'm going to uh, put it on there and show you how to put it on there. Um, and there was, there has been a few issues since it, since uh, it went, which is the reason why I did uh, check with my fault code reader. Um, there was, um, there was no engine management light from it for some reason. It didn't, didn't set off the light. It just, uh, it just happened. I checked it because there was uh, some slight running issues with the car, so I thought I'd do a, a scan on there, and uh, that's what it came up with the camshaft position sensor. So uh, I'll go ahead and show you how I change that out now. So here we are at the front of the car. You're going to need a T30 Torx bit and you're going to want to undo that bolt there and then there's another one just there. If you can't get to that one you might need to move this, uh, this air pipe out of the way. Okay, once you've undone those two screws, and uh, I found this was quite useful to help undo that one. I just put my torque socket through there to get in there, because it's a bit of a tight, tight space, and I didn't want to take that off really. So, once you've done that, you can then take off the timing belt cover here. It's a good, good uh, opportunity to, to check the timing belt whilst you're here. I just sort of lifts upwards yep. oh, it's gone down a bit that's fine well there's the camshaft position sensor you've got two 10 mil bolts one there and one there and then you want to unplug it by pressing pressing that clip down and then pulling pulling it out okay Not easy to do with one hand when you're holding the camera. There we go. So I'm going to unbolt those now, put the new one on. Okay, so I did take off the air intake part. I took that off in the end because if you don't take that off, <coughs> you can't really take the cover out of the way. It won't, it won't fit through the gap so you sort of need to take that off but it's only there's only three screws like those spots there so anyway I've taken that off and you can see I've removed the camshaft sensor now which is here with just two bolts to take that off which is there and there and then here is the new one which I'm going to put on there's a comparison to the old one so uh, whilst I'm here though I did realize notice one thing that my my timing belt feels a little bit slack I don't know if it's how slack it's supposed to be if it's okay I put this timing belt on myself quite a long time ago. It's due a new one. It's, it's a bit overdue a new one, but it's actually it seems to be in quite a good condition. There's no cracking on it. It's just a bit loose. So anyway, I'm going to screw this on now. Okay, there's the new one screwed on and plugged in, and now I'm going to give it a little test run. She, st she started up okay anyway, so uh, hopefully that's going to be okay running from now on. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.